So here we go for the first of the two group races I'm bringing you here from Weatherby. It's a three mile, one furlong West Yorkshire hurdle. A fleet lipped for James Shea, a rank outsider. Bregorn, Pontypool Racing, five star David Hooley. Gallagher Origin, Martin Leadham. Live in the moment, David Hooley's more fancied runner. Splish splash for Joshua Sutherland, so impressive in week one. Sports Visa, James Shea. Steeplejack Lad, Pontypool Racing. Time Capsule, the favourite. And a very impressive winner in week one. Yossi Maeth, D. Thompson, Cloud Mambo, Craig Allen, Murder on My Mind, Ryan Costello, Over Castelli, Oli McCormack, Philosophical Ryan Tamasebi, Scorched Earth, Leon Van Rensburg, Winchester, David French, and Zepnov Mama for Red Eyes. And they are off and running here at Weatherby for the West Yorkshire Hurdle. A fascinating clash. So many of these runners looked so good in the first time out, particularly Time Capsule, the favourite for Leon Van Rensburg, the champion trainer. Cloud Mambo for Craig Allen. And also Splish Splash for Josh Joshua Sutherland. So three of the top jumps trainers entering their top stairs, staying hurdlers into this race. And they lived up to their mighty reputations in week one. But it's a live in the moment who was runner up in week one who set in the early pace for David Hooley. A good few lengths back already to Splish Splash, who's racing nearer to the camera angle here in the middle of the track. And over, away from us, you can see is Sports Visa for James Shea. So towards the rear of the field, Philosophical's the back marker at the moment and has already been scrubbed along a fair few times by the jockey. Not travelling particularly well at the moment. It's fair to say. So as they pass what will be the winning post and pass the big screen and all of the race goers who have eagerly been eagerly anticipating this Group 2 hurdle race here at Weatherby, it's still live in the moment, in the lead, in the purple silks, although the jockey's just asking it to get in much tighter towards the rail. I don't know if there's better racing ground towards the middle of the track, but the jockey just wants to try and move over towards the rail, and a fair few horses have followed suit, including Splish Splash and Sports Visa, who currently take up second and third place. A couple of lengths back to another chase and pack of Overcast, five star, murder on my mind. It's right on the rail there. Uh, time capsule racing there alongside Zepnov Marmo in the middle of the field and philosophical towards the rear of the field is past one and that means a fleet lift is now the back marker James Shea's runner so it's still live in the moment as they come towards that next flight lovely jump by the front three so it's live in the moment sports visa and splish splash about a length and a half there to overcast murder on my mind towards the rail in the green and white and time capsule traveling very strongly there for Leon Van Rensburg who really fancies this horse thinks it might be a bit of a superstar and one to keep an eye on as we go towards the festivals later on in the season but it's still live in the moment in the lead just looking for Cloud Mambo one of the other winners in week one that one's towards the rear of the field for Craig Allen you can see there in the green and the gold hoops uh, they come past the five furlong marker but that will be in a circuit's time as they still have three times that distance to travel here so it's live in the moment in the lead setting a decent enough pace for what is a three mile race ahead of sports visa and splish splashes in third place still so the front three remain the same as it has since the tapes went up looking towards the middle of the pack to see if there's been many changes there and it is kind of as you were it's fair to say for the time being time capsule still traveling in powerfully alongside five star at the moment the other purple horse is for a different trainer. That uh, that one's at the rear of the field. That's Gallagher Origin. That just, as I mentioned, it put in a poor jump there and is now off the screen uh, for my fellow commentator, Martin Leadham. He has had some sketchy jumpers so far this uh, season, it's fair to say. It was a slow jump at the rear of the field by Philosophical there. But going back up front... It is the purple silks of David Hooley's runner live in the moment as they go over that next flight of hurdles. A second place is Splish Splash. That one's moved on past Sports Visa. Time Capsule now has an outright fourth, but Hooley's other runner, five star runner, the black horse on the rail is just inching closer. The jockey pushed it along to move up alongside the favourite there. So we have now come past what will be the winning post in a circuit's time. And for all of the race goers here, they've not really seen too much chopping and changing for the horses the two times they've passed them so far because they're still seeing live in the moment in the lead 
but that lead is ever decreasing now because Splish Splash has moved to within a length and a half of the lead for Joshua Sutherland. Uh, it's about a length and a half to two lengths back to Sports Visa and a couple of lengths back then to Time Capsule. We have had a few technical difficulties here at Weatherby today, so apologies for some of the, the static and the, the stills that you might be getting on your screen. So as they go over that next flight of hurdles, there have been some poor jumping towards the rear of the field from my run of Philosophical that was third first time out. It's not been particularly quick over any of its hurdles today, but at the re at the front of the field, live in the moment, oh, just as I mentioned, Philosophical, that almost went down on its nose. But live in the moment's put in a really good round of jumping so far up front and still has the lead over Splish Splash and Sports Visas now getting closer again in third place. We're into to the final six furlongs here and Time Capsule's now just been pushed along a little bit to try and get a little bit closer to this leader that is still living the moment as we come to the five furlong marker. 14 flights of hurdles have been jumped. Splish Splash just niggled a little bit there. The jockey wants it to stay as close as it can to live in the moment without going and pressing for the lead just yet. Four furlongs to go. Live in the moment. Still the leader from Splish Splash Sports Visa. It's been the same front three since the tape went up. Five star. The other Hooli runner wants to get involved. And then we've got the two Leon Van Rensburg runners, Time Capsule and Scorched Earth. Cloud Mambo is now making its move out of the pack. And you can see that one's going to start getting involved for Craig Allen. Two and a half furlongs left to go. In the West Yorkshire hurdle, it's live in the moment. Five Five stars now moved into second and joined Sports Visa. And you can see the Leon Van Rensburg runners now are getting involved. But it's Scorched Earth, not Time Capsule. That's the closer of the two at the moment. Live in the, uh, live in the moments now being passed by Scorched Earth as they come over that next flight. Cloud Mambo trying to get involved. F five star is passed. Live in the moment as well with a furlong left to travel. It's Scorched Earth in the lead for Leon Van Rensburg. Jumps that flight beautifully. But here comes Time Capsule. The favourite is going to try and pick off his stable mate. But he's finding it hard to get alongside Scorched Earth. Nothing's going to get to it. Scorched Earth wins the West Yorkshire hurdle. Time capsule second. It's a 1-2 for Leon Van Rensburg. Cloud Mambo third for Craig Allen. And we'll have to see here as they uh, play the replay what managed to come fourth. It's five star, 100 to one outsider for David Hooley, I think. Scorched Earth wins it though. Upsets its stable mate. Scorched Earth wins it by three quarters of a length from Time Capsule in second. Cloud Mambo third for Craig Allen. Fourth, David Hooley's outsider five star. And in fifth was Sports Visa for James Shea.